Long Riders, it's Wednesday again and we are here at the studio to bring you another amazing tying video. This one is an incredible, incredible March pa March pattern, March brown pattern, excuse me, that I've been tying for a long time. I've been getting a lot of success with it and we're going to teach you a new way to tie in the wings today. So if you're new here, we bring you a lot of tying videos, instruction videos to help you catch more fish when you're on the water. So if you're into catching more fish, which I know most of you are, you might click down here on the bottom. There's going to be a little red subscribe button. Click that now and go and subscribe and hit the bell notification so you get a notification every time we post a video. We're about to release a bunch of fishing videos, but every Wednesday, tying video here. So, in today's amazing video, like I told you, we're going to show you how to tie a March Brown. It's an incredible pattern that will only impress your friends, but catch a lot of fish. So you don't want to miss it. You don't want to miss this video. Tie these up. So, mate, now, tell you what. Let's get to the vice and tie these up. Okay, we already debarbed the hook and we're going to use a brown 70 denier brown thread. We're going to start by running the thread all the way back to the bend of the hook to lay a base of thread down so this keeps the material from spinning. And then we're going to go halfway up the hook, stop, and then go half of that distance, and there is going to be where you tie your wings in. We're going to use two brown hackle tips for this fly. And how you want to get them ready to tie in is you want to take the two unshiny backs and put them together and then you're going to lay them down on the top of the hook and with the so that the unshiny part will be in the middle and the colored really colored part will be on the outside now you want to measure them for length so you want it the wings to be as long as the straight part of the hook or the shank of the hook and then you're going to take them in and tie them in up there where you left the thread. Now you want to pull back on the brown hackle tips and put some thread wraps in front of them and this will make them stand up. Now a lot of times these hackle tips will stick together you got to pull them apart make sure that the silver part you know the doll part and the shiny parts on the outside and then you want to put wrap in in between them and do your figure eight in between them around in between them you know and that'll get your wings to split Now you see that little tuft of fur out front there? I like to cut that off and just leave the two hackle tips up. Get that out of the way. You don't need that there. Now get ready to tie in your tail. Run your thread all the way back to the bend in the hook. Now, for the tail, you're going to take, you know the big feathers on the back of the neck that you don't use because they're not going to fit any hook size? Take them, and you pull a couple fibers of the grizzly, a couple fibers of red, and that's how you make up your tail. You're going to measure it for the same size as the wing, the total length of the straight part of the hook or the shank, and measure that's going to be the length of your tail. 
and you're going to tie that in. Now you're gonna mix or uh, you take a piece of uh, tying thread like a light tan, a little bit lighter than the dubbing you're gonna use, and you're gonna tie that in. That's gonna be your rib. Bring on the turkey. We're gonna use turkey, and we're gonna cut that about eighth inch. Once you learn to tie your first fly, you figure out how wide to make that turkey strip. For the size fly you're tying so we're going to take that i'd say about an eighth of an inch and we're going to tie that in straight on top of the hook because we're going to bend it over so you want it definitely on top of the hook directly on top and i usually tie the make sure that the turkey the material you're going to cut off fits right through the center of the two wings and that'll help you make sure you it's right on the top of the hook Now to fit the tape with the body, you're going to tie in, as you get out to the top, the tip of this uh, turkey, it's going to be smaller. So you want to tie that section in the back, because you'll see it gets wider as it goes towards where you cut it off the feather. You want to tie that towards the front so it matches the taper of your body. Now we're going to use a light brown, yellowish cream color, and uh, this is what color matches the March browns in my area. You want to match the belly color. You want to catch one on your creek, look at the belly, and try and match the dubbing as close to that belly color as you can. And you're going to dub this, and you're going to taper the body up like a cigar, get small, start small, and get wider right behind the wing. Okay, what you're going to do now is you're going to take the turkey and you're going to fold it over and push and push down on it so you tight to the top of that, the dubbing, and then you're going to cinch it down right behind the wing with your tying thread. And you're going to go back and take that, that uh, rib you have, excuse me, excuse me, and rib the fly trying to keep that turkey directly on top. Now you're going to get two hackle feathers and you're going to gauge them and your hairs shouldn't stick down too much past the, the very bottom of your hook. And you're going to get a grizzly and measure it and you're going to get a brown and measure it. Now 
Now I like to tie in the grizzly first. So that'll be the last one you wrap. Because I like to add the grizzly to make the color just like I like it. So I add as much grizzly as I want to make the color. So I tie that one in first. Then you tie the March Brown in. Run your thread back up to the eye of the hook. Now we're going to start with the brown hackle. And I only put two wraps behind the wing and only one in front of it. Now I'm at, I'll add this tie in the grizzly. I think I put four behind and two in front. Um, get this right for your area. See which color matches the best and add more grizzly or less grizzly and try it out. See which colors, if you want more grizzly or less grizzly in to see if, which ones catch you more fish. And uh, so this is the color I want mine. So when you get up to the front, you tie both hackles off. Pull back all the hackle and the wings and everything and form a head. And then you want to throw a whip finishes. I put two series of whip finishes in. And then you can head cement it or not. And you're pretty much done. Now let's look at this amazing fly you just tied. These are really cool and they work. like that fly we just covered that March Brown's really cool and with that turkey wing on the t back that really looks realistic it really adds the to tone like the f actual fly is brown on the back and the wings are a brown color and the tail is even a brown tint to it so you it you really want to represent the belly the fish won't see the back, but there's still people that think that when the, water, the fly sitting in the water, they can see the back. And this makes it so that if the fly lands sideways or something, if I've seen when I tied them like this, and the fish, the fly lands sideways without the wings standing up, and they on its side, and the fish still took it because they could see how realistic it looks on the top of the water. And they really, really work. And, uh... So like I said before, if you're new here and you're just getting to the end of my video, make sure you subscribe. Um, 
the subscriber count has fallen and I'm still getting 89% of views coming from non-subscribers. That means I can still get you guys to subscribe. So please do. You don't want to miss any of these videos. We bring you a tying video every Wednesday and then we just throw in fishing and construction videos when, you know, I'm a construction worker, out, a mason construction worker, so like today we didn't work, it rained. So whenever I have time to make another video, and I got a lot in the editing studio waited to be edited, a ton of stuff in the uh, studio waiting to be edited. So I got to get to that, and so I can bring them tying videos to or them fishing videos to you. I still have the youth day here in Pennsylvania, and that that was uh, three weeks or four weeks ago. So I got to get on editing them. I have been working a lot, so I haven't had much time. So, maybe, I was thinking maybe me and Tracy can uh, talk to them, uh, to the camera, when we do them together, and talk about the fishing videos. So, we'll see if we get her in the, the booth to help edit them, and shoot them. So, you guys, I will see you in the future. And... Um, make sure you check out all our playlist. Um, keep your lines wet, out of the trees, and only give them fish a sore lip. Hey, go check up these videos above me and over there, the ones just for you. This is the next video. Go check it out now, man. It's the next video you need to play. It's right, right here, right up here. Go check it out. Over there, go check that one out. You know you wanna, so go do it now. Get on it. Let's do it.